Hi, it's Karen from Academ. Today, we're talking about skin aging by age group. First off, we need to know what are the factors of aging. There are three main ones. First one is genetic. Second one is hormonal, especially for women. And lastly is environment. What is genetic aging? Well, it's in your genes, so you can't change that. You can't slow it down, but you can try to prevent it from going faster. How to do that is to try and reduce your stress factors, try to reduce uh, your exposition to UV rays, so wear sunscreen, and try to avoid the consumption of tobacco and alcohol as uh, they've been proven to really shorten uh, the lifespan of your chromosomes. Hormonal aging is hormonal, so you can't do much about it. Women, we go through many hormonal changes in our life, from puberty to pregnancy to menopause. So that really does affect our skin in the aging process. And the third one is the environment. That's the one you can try to control the most. How to do so is protect your skin from the sun. Try to wash your face daily so you remove all the pollution that's stuck to it and also you can try to have a balanced diet good sleeping habits exercise drink water eat fruits and vegetables that are rich in antioxidants so all those factors will reduce your genetic capital so you'll produce cells more slowly and they'll be a bit weaker so wear your sunscreen and wash your face the visual signs of skin aging you'll notice are fine lines and wrinkles, loss of firmness, of elasticity, thinning of the skin, loss of radiance. You'll also notice hyper or hypopigmentation. You'll notice dryness and dehydration. Here are the signs you'll notice by age group. In the 20s, most of your clients will have a beautiful skin. They'll be either normal with a bit combo, some will have pimples, but overall they'll have good Good skin, uh, no fine lines, no wrinkles, and they'll have a beautiful glow to their skin. So what we want to do is try to keep the balance on their skin. They need to wash every day, they need to hydrate, and they need to protect. Hydrate with a regular moisturizer, either to help balance the sebum production or to replace the sebum that's missing from their skin. We want to keep the balance in the skin to keep the maximum water into the skin. You need to explain to them that in their 20s, that's when they can try to not accelerate their aging process. No tobacco or at least try not to low consumption of alcohol and try to have good eating and sleeping habits. In their 30s, your clients will notice that their skin is not as even as it used to be. They may have a bit of dark spots appearing and uh, they'll have dehydration lines, fine lines. And towards the end of their 30s, they're going to notice a loss of elasticity to their skin. What we want to do to preserve the health and uh, youth of the skin is to hydrate protect and clean but now we're gonna add some eye contour cream you'll notice your clients in their 30 they're gonna have little fine lines here dehydration lines so we need to hydrate that and hopefully they won't settle into wrinkles also you can add a serum to their routine so a hyaluronic acid serum is perfect so it'll help maintain the maximum level of hydration into their skin to keep it youthful and glowy in their 40s they'll notice that their skin is more texture more uneven they don't have the radiance that they want to have and they'll also notice that uh, expression lines are starting to appear they will also notice that they're getting a bit drier and a bit dehydrated. In their 40s, their skin is starting to slowly decrease its shedding process. So we need to help the skin with that. So we suggest 
to add an exfoliant once a week so it can stimulate new cell production so they'll have less visible pores more even skin tone and uh, less texture to their skin in their 50s you'll notice that your clients lose firmness they lose elasticity uh, their their expression lines are gonna settle they're gonna have more deep wrinkles and they're gonna have more hypo or hyperpigmentation depending and also dryness why dryness because uh, most of them will have been or are going through menopause and menopause equals dryness overall and sagging overall so everything dries everything falls so we need to help the skin keep its hydration balance and nourish it so we'll do exfoliation now twice a week because in their 50s their skin is really not really able to do it by itself. So we need to increase the frequency of our exfoliation so we can have a bigger cell renewal. Also, we're gonna introduce a cream that is richer, more uh, nourishing. We need ceramides. We can also use creams with uh, glycolic acid inside at night. So it will help with the cell turnover of the skin, will help with the firmness, elasticity of the skin. We need to use uh, ingredients that are more targeted towards the goal of your client either hydration glowiness firmness you can work on whatever bothers them and also they need to come frequently to see you like through their whole life because they need their skin clean and stimulated with a massage massage is so good for the health of the skin so if we resume you need to keep hydrated protect your skin from the sun, wash your face. You also need to try and avoid tobacco and alcohol, to eat well, you need to sleep well, and you need to go to the esthetician every four to six weeks. Hopefully you've learned something new today and uh, that's it for me. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye.